Hey there guys, we're going to be going back to Whisper Bayment for a little bit of a cheaper clear. Now this is not like super extreme budget, but it's definitely, you know, we're not using the near stuff, we're not using things like, you know, the new Rosa, all that kind of stuff. We're using Regina and Golbez, and they're going to be the ones that perfect score us. Um, so here's the party. Let's get in here and do a clear, and then I'll explain it, you know, a little more in a moment. But mostly, it's going to be Golbez for the killer and some support damage, and then Regina, supported by the rest of the party, is doing most of the damage. So we're going to start off with Regina doing um, Magic Supply Extension. That's going to give a big uh, cooldown reduction to her cannon, which is important. Uh, Golbez is going to do Jet Black Spirit. That's the other version of his armor. That's going to give an undead killer starting on turn four. Louise can do, um, she'll start her in the base form. We'll just do a stat buff for the party. We're going to do a break on the boss with Freevia, and that's kind of important as I learned. Um, and then Diverti is going to cover, mitigate, and magic mitigate. Now, the reason we're using Diverti is we need someone to deal with the turn 3 attack, and Diverti makes it nice and easy because he gives an AoE 90 mitigation. Um, things like Cecil are way better, but I'm trying to mix it up and not use the same units. Okay, on turn 2, we're going to do the Imperil Field with Mog, and we're going to do the Amplify Field with Freevia, and hit the boss a few times for weakness damage. Louise can go to the Shift Form and do Disarming to give us a Gun Imperil. We're going to start focusing magic on Golbez. Um, Regina can just guard here, and Diverti can just mitigate and hit the boss a few times um, as we kind of just like wait at this point. We're waiting for Regina's SLB, is what we're waiting for. Now, mine's only EX2, so we're going to be killing on turn 5. If yours is EX1, kill on turn uh, 6. It's totally fine with this party. Okay, so turn three, like I mentioned, is a fixed attack. It ignores cover. It can be omni-covered, but we're not using omni-cover. Um, so we're going to just guard everyone, and we're going to use Diverti to do his Magnus of 90% mitigation for the party. Uh, Golbez can't guard. We need his magic boost, so we'll just do that. Um, but the rest of the party can just guard right here. To take less damage. As long as we take 5,000 or less, we're going to be fine. We're even using, like, you know, Mughal Narshi. And he takes like 300 damage. So with Diverti's mitigation, you're fine. And again, you don't need Diverti. He just makes it easier. So we are going to kill next turn. So Louise will just do some whatever stuff and her big break. Uh, Maul can just punch the boss for weakness damage. Free of you can too. Uh, Golbez will just focus here. We'll just cover again with Diverti. And Regina is going to do her SLB. That is going to give modifier skills to the rest of the party, which is going to help her power up. Okay, we're still covering with Diverti, some dark and fire resist. That way, that way we don't got to resist the rest of the party. Okay, it is time to kill. So Golbez, because of his turn one spirit buff, did AoE fit 150 killer. Uh, we've got a 35 gun in peril, a 160 break, I'm sorry, a 160 in peril, a 90 spirit break, etc. So we are good to go. So we're going to Meteor with Golbez. We're going to Ultimate Super Regina Cannon with her. The rest of the party is going to power up Regina. Now when doing Regina's power-ups, make sure you use a different power-up per unit. You don't want to use the same one because if you use the same one, they do not stack. So make sure all your supporters are clicking a different of the power-ups and you're all targeting Regina. So we're going to click Golbez first, wait a split moment, then we're going to click our support chainers, all of them before Regina, and Regina will be the last one clicked. So let's give this a go, so we do that, and then we chain these, and we're looking for a 10.7 or better. Now this is not going to be a super big overcap, um, actually from the looks of it, it looks like it was actually undercap maybe, but we'll see the damage breakdown in a minute. Um, because we're, we're using a sort, this is like kind of like on the borderline of budget, so it's not going to be super huge overcap. 11.1, that was fine. Um, but yeah, so if you're not using things like, you know, the good, Reg not the good Regina, the good, um, the good Rosa, or like the Dark Vision Sword on Golbez, all that kind of stuff, it does hurt your damage a little bit, but that team can still do it, as you can see here. And like I said, Golbez is the killer buffer and some support damage. Most of the damage comes from Regina, but she is supported by four other units. So this is, this is definitely not the easiest way to damage cap. This is just because Barros loves Regina so much, and I figured I'd do a video 
in his honor. So there we go. I'll show you the team and the gear and all. So it's relatively cheap gear for the most part. Probably the only questionable thing is the Dazzle card on Golbez. But here we go. So Mog is just using some spirit because he does take the hit on turn three. So just enough spirit to not be like a naked Moogle. Other than that, the gear is mostly irrelevant. Make sure he does have enough mana to cast the 500 skill of Regina on turn five. Freevia, literally naked. She just does the ice support and imbue, breaks, etc. Uh, Diverti is a cover tank with 100 fire and 100 dark. Other than that, he's provoking and just some mitigation. Uh, and the reason we chose him is because he's got... Where is it? His, his, his Magnus skill. His Magnus, draw and reload, is a 90% general mitigation for one turn of the fight. That's all we need, though, because that gives us a big damage reduction on turn three, which is when the boss nukes your party and ignores regular cover. Uh, Louise, totally naked. She is literally just here for the gun and peril and the 90 break. Um, Regina is uh, EX2, and we are using a lot of clash gear, but other than that, it's kind of whatever. I gave her some chain speed stuff. That way, just in case you misclick, it's a little bit easier to get it properly timed. Um, and then just a card. You know, Dark Reigns card is way better. I kind of wanted to avoid like premium stuff, so we didn't use Dark Reigns card. Um, but there's the Regina, and she's maxing everything. She's got, uh, and she uses magic killers. Keep that in mind. So 300 Reaper killer magic version. And then Golbez uses physical killers. Um, we gave him a gun because we're using gun and peril. You could also give him the dark vision sword, which would be way better, and do the sword in peril with the frostblade free of you. But dark vision sword is a little bit harder to come by, so we didn't do it. We didn't do it that way. Um, you could also give him Freevia's STMR if you don't have the Summer Sparky, but we are using a 35 Gun in Peril versus a 30 Sword in Peril, so the gun is slightly better if you have it. Uh, Spirit Armor is for the Undead Killer. Uh, this gives AoE Undead Killer after four turns, so it's 130 there, but it goes to um, 150 on turn four. So that's where we're getting our killer buff from. If you have Rosa, she is significantly better, so let's put, fit her on the party instead, but I tried to keep it, you know, non-Rosa this time. Uh, magic boost, if you have it, there we go, and then the Dazzle card. So, Golbez is a little questionable about being um, budget. So, ways you can improve this. Uh, drop Golbez and bring Rosa instead. Drop Louise and bring Beach Blaster Olive and have her deal damage on the kill turn as well as use her 90, 90 Spirit Break. Uh, drop Moogle Narshi and bring Tyvus and Yish for the bigger ice and peril field and you can do things like drop um diverti and bring like cecil that wouldn't improve your damage any but that would that would improve your damage if you're using um olive because it would give olive an lb an lb no it wouldn't because we're not using that field we're using free obvious field um yeah i don't know there, there's ways to improve it but uh if you want to have fun with it here's a regina method to do it um, not the easiest way to damage cap, you know, it's definitely easier with like near units and all that, or a physical team, and I'll be doing those this weekend as well, but anyway, there is another alternative, slightly cheaper. See you in a bit.